Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. The opioid epidemic is devastating communities across this country, but that addiction is often a secondary issue. With me to discuss this is Melissa Rocky. She is CEO to Footprints to Recovery. Melissa, thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate Thank your you time. so much. Uh, it really is devastating communities, and once that addiction happens, I mean, the cost for recovery is immense, it is. also costing those communities. But there's a way to catch that sooner before it gets to that point. Education is really key to all of this. Absolutely. It is. So as the Chief Operating Officer at Footprints to Recovery, my main mission is to bring education to those communities and to teach our staff and the clients that we work with about these horrific diseases and how we can get freedom from those. But you're absolutely right. It it, it has to happen early, and we have to get that education to communities, to schools, to other health institutions, anyone we can so we can prevent this from continuing to happen. Yeah, because addiction, uh, like we said in the beginning of the segment, it's a secondary issue. There's a lot of underlying conditions that people are dealing with. In fact, almost 20% of adults in this country have a mental health condition. That's an astounding number. It is. And I think that stigma of us not realizing that how many people are suffering and probably suffering in silence to encourage those people to get help, to talk about it, to end that stigma so that we can lower that number as much as we can so that not only the mental health portion, but the addiction and the trauma and the eating disorders and everything else that comes with it, we can get ahead of that. It's so true. When something happens to you like that, you think, why can't I deal with this? You do, and what's wrong with me? You don't seek that help to figure out what's wrong. You know, we have physical education in schools. We don't have mental health education in schools. Right. Yeah, and that's one of the things that, you know, I'm so grateful to be uh, here talking with you today to, if we could just help a handful of people to begin to talk about it, to be like, hey, something's going on. I don't feel right. Um, that if they just ask someone, go to a teacher, go to your primary care doc, go to a therapist, go to your school counselor, hopefully we can continue to save those lives and help them find the reason to get help and to talk about this so they don't end up down a path even later or possibly dead. Yeah. And once you do seek out that treatment and get that treatment, it is a difficult path. Absolutely. But one that's possible. Absolutely. We and one say, where a happy ending is possible. Yeah. Recovery is possible. Healing is possible. It's hard work. I always say it's as simple as a choice, but it's one of the hardest choices you're ever going to have to make to, to say, I have a problem, there's something going on, and then do the work and continue to do the work around that. At what point do you seek help? At what point do you think, well, I'm just, you know, sad, something happened to me, obviously, I'm going through a difficult time right now, but at what point do you say to yourself, okay, this is not normal, I need to do something about it? I think the minute that that thought comes in your head, like something's up, something's wrong, just open your mouth to somebody, even if it's a friend, a church member, a community member, to get outside of yourself, to get a different perspective, because people around you notice. But we're also so afraid to say something to other people sometimes. We're, we're not only afraid to say something for ourselves, but sometimes for the ones that we love or care for too. So I, I recommend anybody, like just just say it. Who knows what the what it'll lead to, but at least you opened your mouth and you gave yourself a chance. Yeah, and talk to somebody, and hopefully that person will say to you, you need to go seek Absolutely. professional help. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Some great information. For more information, folks can head to your website, which is? FootprintsToRecovery.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Now that has been Comcast Newsmakers for this edition. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time on Newsmakers.